40 kilometers apart travel towards each other on the same track. One train travels at 40 kilometers per hour, the other travels at 60 kilometers per hour. A bird starts flying at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour at the same location of the faster train. When it reaches the slower train, it turns around and flies in the opposite direction at the same speed. When it reaches the faster train, again it turns around and so on. When the two trains collide, how far has the bird flown? How far has the bird flown? Now look at this. Let's assume this is train A and this is train B. The initial distance between these two trains is what? 100 kilometers, right? The trains are 100 kilometers apart. Okay. This train A, let's assume, is the slower train. It travels at 40 kilometers per hour. Train B is the faster train which travels at 60 kilometers per hour. 60 kilometers per hour. And remember, they are moving in the opposite direction. They travel towards each other. Right? They travel towards each other on the same track. So train A is traveling in this direction and train B is traveling in this direction. So they are traveling towards each other. Right? So obviously, if they are traveling on the same track, let's assume this is the track. Right? This is the track between the two trains. They will collide. At, at some point, they will collide. Now, what has happened? A bird starts flying at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour at the same location of the faster train. Now, B is the faster train, right? Train B is the faster train and train A is the slower one. So, there's a bird, a bird sitting on train B, right? Here's the bird. Now, it, it starts flying at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour, 90 kilometers per hour at the same location of the faster train. So, from this location, it starts flying. When it reaches the slower train, so basically the bird flies from B to A, right? The bird flies from B to A. Let me, let me use a different color to show you how the bird flies, right? Right, let's use a different color for, for understanding the whole concept here. Right, so initially the trains are at this point A and B, like this. The bird starts flying, right? It flies from uh, A to B, but sorry, from B to A, from B to A. But the point is, it will not cover the whole distance up to A because by the time it reaches A, A has already traveled some distance, right? Remember, A is always moving in this direction, B is also moving in that direction. So when the bird took off, Right? When it took off, it, it took off from this point, but it doesn't have to go to the whole, I mean, it doesn't have to travel the whole 100 kilometers, right? By the time it reaches A, A has already covered some distance. So, let's say it meets A at this point, A dash. Right? Now, it turns back. What happens when it reaches the slower train? It has reached the slower train A, it turns around and flies in the opposite direction. Now, it has turned around. So, it has traveled in this direction so far. Right? It has traveled in this direction so far. Now, it turns around. Right? It turns around. So, now it flies in the backward direction. But again, does it travel to have to travel the whole distance up to B? No, because B is also traveling. So let's say this is new distance, new point of location of B. So bird travels this direction. And then again it turns around and so on, right? It, it continues to do so, right? It meets A somewhere here in this direction, right? Then it turns, this is A double dash. Then it turns around. It meets B here. Yeah, and so on. This, this to and fro keeps happening, right? Till at a particular point, let's say when A and B collide. Both A and B collide. And so, what is the uh, trajectory of the bird? This is the trajectory. It travels this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then. So, this is like a Wi Fi uh, symbol, if you understand. I mean, you know, the, the distance traveled by the bird reduces at each instant. Fine. So, what's the total distance traveled is the question, right? What's the total distance traveled is the question, right? When the two trains collide, the two trains have collided at this point, what's the total distance traveled? How far is the bird flown? How far is the bird flown? Now, this looks to be a very complex one. You have to first find out the distance with the two trains initially, then the distance at that in second instance, third instance, and so on to get the answer. But then, if you play it smart, this question would take about 10 seconds for you to arrive at the answer. Yes, you're right. It takes just about 10 seconds for you to solve this one. See, understand, for you to solve this question, for us to find out how much distance the bird has traveled or what is the distance, how far has the bird flown, I need two things. I, I am looking for distance. Basically, the question is on distance. Yes or no? Distance traveled by the bird is equal to what? For you to find out the distance, what do you need? You need the speed of the bird. Yes or no? Speed of the bird is needed, which is 90 kilometers per hour given to us directly. So, bird is flying always at 90 kilometers per hour. Remember, it says at the same speed when it and, and flies in the opposite direction at the same, same speed. So, speed of the bird is never changed. It is always 90 kilometers per hour. What else do I need? I need the time. Time for which the bird has flown. If I can find out the time for which the bird has flown, I am done. Yes or no? I just need to know for how much time has the bird flown. Now, the point is the time for which the bird has flown is equal to the time taken by the two trains to collide. This becomes a relative velocity problem, relative speed problem. 
it is like you know trains typical trains question right two trains are traveling in opposite direction how much time will they take to meet each other meeting each other is like colliding with each other here because they are traveling in the same direction uh, traveling on the same track they will collide at some point right they'll collide at some point so basically the time taken by the bird time taken by the bird is equal to the time taken by the trains to collide how much time will the trains take to collide how to find out the time taken by the trains to collide relative speed concept what is time distance by speed how much distance the two trains have to get travel together 100 kilometers so the total distance have to travel is 100 kilometers what is the relative speed remember the two trains are moving in opposite direction when the trains move in opposite direction relative speed is sum of the speeds so 60 plus 40 no conversions required because all the units are in standard i mean all are standard units 100 kilometers 40 kilometers per hour 60 kilometers per hour and so on so the total time required by the two trains to collide is equal to 100 divided by 40 plus 60 Yes or no? 100 divided by 40 plus 60. I hope you have understood this point. Let me just, once again. 100 divided by 40 plus 60. Right? Time taken by the bird. Total time for which the bird has flown is equal to time taken by the two trains to collide. Now collision here is the relative speed concept. Total distance that the two trains have to cover together is 100 kilometers. Distance by speed. Time is equal to distance by speed. What is the speed? Relative speed. Now, since the trains are moving in opposite direction, relative speed is sum of the speed. So, 40 plus 60, right? 40 plus 60. Let me just, sorry. Uh, where is my pen? Yeah. 40 plus 60. 100 by 100 is equal to 1. So, time taken by the two trains to collide is equal to 1 hour, which means the bird has also flown for 1 hour. P of the bird is 90 kilometers per hour. It has flown for one hour. How much distance will it cover? 90 kilometers. At a speed of 90 kilometers per hour, for one hour, how much distance will the bird cover? For how far will the bird fly? Like 90 kilometers. Distance is equal to speed into time. So 90 into 190. Option A is your answer. Option A, 90 kilometers is your answer. Now just look at this. The actual solution is just this. You have to find out the distance for which you need the speed and time. Speed is given to you. Time has to be evaluated. Now, if you try to calculate time in this fashion or distance covered in each instance, your life will become miserable. If anyone is trying to do that, you know, distance traveled in the first instance, then distance traveled by the bird in the second instance, and then third instance, then the fourth instance, and so on, life becomes miserable. You will get the same answer eventually, 90 kilometers per hour. But then smart method is to find out the time taken by the two trains to collide, which, which takes like 10 seconds, right? 100 by 40 plus 60. So 90 kilometers option A is your answer.